Hello everyone, we're here at the Shell Houston Open. I'm Bill Cooney from PGA Tour Digital. We have a special guest with us today, Ali Schneiderjans. Ali, how's it going? Good, thanks for having me. Good, good. Uh, well, Ali here is going to show us uh, how to do a few chip shots in a second. But first of all, Ali, just kind of curious how your game is going right now and uh, as the season uh, goes along here. Feels really good. I feel like uh, I've had a lot of good stuff out there. I've played a lot of good events lately and uh, just hoping to have some have a big big week coming up soon and just the more I can get in in the, in the mix on Sunday the better. You tied for 34th at the Arnold Palmer Invitational in Bay Hill uh, a few weeks back. Um, talk a little bit about how that tournament went and maybe like you said didn't go as well as you had hoped on the weekend. Yeah it was, it was close I felt like I played I played really good most of the week and I had too many big mistakes and even around the green kind of had a few hiccups uh, from the bunkers that uh, cost me some shots but uh, it's a, it was a tough course and it got a lot of it got a lot of guys so I um, feel like I was close though to having a great week. What about your spirits this week? Uh, you said you really like the course of uh, what you've seen so far. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about this week and how you feel right now. I think the course is awesome. The greens are super pure. Everything out here is really green and it's it's a good test. Got a lot of character on the course. Got to hit a lot of different types of tee shots and uh, I think you can you can score pretty well out there. You can go low. Um, but I could see how with some tough pins and they get the greens fast, it can be tricky too. Well, let's talk a little bit around those about around those greens here. We got a, on the practice green here. Basically, we're going to ask Ali to show us how to make a chip shot stop on a dime so to speak yeah. um, so we thought we'd ask you because you're the pro so let's uh, show our amateur friends out there how to do this um, first of all what is the the technique and what are you trying to do with the club as opposed to doing maybe a pitch and run well first to get the most check you can out of it you want to probably have your highest lofted club so I've got a brand new 62 degree so that doesn't hurt fresh grooves fresh grooves Callaway brand new 62 degree um, and then it's all about getting pressure on the ball, so you got to have, got to hit the right contact on it. So when you have this much loft, a little back in your stance. Uh, anywhere that you can get, you can put it front too. It just has to have. You got to hit the ball first and try to sort of compress it. And if you have enough loft on it, you'll, it'll have tons of check, just like that one did. Mm -hmm. That was just good contact. So really comes down to having enough loft and then ha getting the pressure on the ball with good contact and it'll give you uh, maximum spin but especially if you have a little bit of a cutty cutty motion to it the more cutty it is the easier it is to get the pressure on the ball and, and uh, up the uh, up the rpms now are you trying to hit it kind of low in there or how what kind of trick depends on the shot okay depends on the shot uh, it's easier to get it's easier to get the consistent pressure on the ball with the spin when you hit the lower one so that's why that's kind of a more consistent way of getting the spin but then if you don't if you have firm greens if you hit it low with spin it's just going to it's going to bounce too skid too hard so there's times where you got to hit it high with spin too and that's a trickier shot but it's doable got to kind of open the face a little more if you're going to do that so this would be maybe normal get a little higher with spin little forward in your stance and then you just have to get that perfect contact and that'll have a ton of spin wow, right there. That one really stopped on Yeah. So the more loft and the more drier it is or the more kind of straight down the line the higher it's going to go. But if you can get that precise contact with that, get the high spinning one. Are you really just looking for the one bounce or you? it doesn't matter or how do you like when Depends you the on shot, the shot. Are you, are you looking for a spot in the green to land it on? Is that kind of what you're looking for? Yeah, I'm picking a spot to land it on, and then I'm anticipating and predicting what kind of bounce and spin it's gonna is gonna happen when it lands. So over to the left pin is gonna be the higher because I want to I want to land it on the green, so it's gonna be the higher one. It landed short, didn't quite catch it, so it didn't have the spin on it. But you're trying to land this one barely on with the high, Tough shot, by the way. like that. That's a good one there. <laughs> so that's a tougher shot. And then to like the back flag, a little more green to work with, so you don't have to go as high. Might hit one a little bit more neutral. 
So it'll skid and then kind of quiet down. So if you're looking to, let's say we're going to the back pin here and you're looking to maybe land it short and run it all the way back, how do you do that? Well, these greens are firm enough to where I can probably still use this, but in most cases I'd probably just, I'd switch to a less loft. I have a 58 degree and you can pretty much hit like a neutral, neutral shot with this and land it right on the front. Almost. Rimmed out. <laughs> Not bad. Well, how about we end on that one? That's pretty darn good. All right. Ollie, uh, thanks a lot for joining All right. us. Thank you. Good luck this week and play well. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.